My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to change a piece of clothing in Photoshop. So here I have a picture of myself in a black t-shirt. Now suppose uh, you want your shirt to change. You want the color or the pattern to change. This is actually very easy and very doable. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you open your picture, make sure that your layer is rasterized. So the way you do that is it would normally not look like this, but you would right click and you would select rasterize layer right there. And then it would make it so that your photo is editable. And then the second thing you're going to want to do, I'm going to delete this so I can show you, is right click and say duplicate layer. And then you're going to have another layer. So then what you're going to want to do is just start erasing around the shirt and get rid of this. Um, so that way you can see what you're doing like that. So you just keep erasing, erasing, erasing until eventually you get something that looks kind of like that. So that's pretty much my shirt and you can't tell because it's the exact same image pretty much. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the bottom, on the bottom uh, left, there's something called FX. Hold that down, go all the way down, and select Pattern Overlay. And this is going to come up with a selection of different patterns that you can use. I'm going to use this red one because I really like it. And I'm going to say OK. All right, so right now it doesn't really look like much, but when we're done with it, it's going to look pretty interesting. OK, so then you're going to want to right click and select Convert to Smart Object. And then you're going to right click again, or Control click, whichever you want. And then you're going to say Rasterize Layer. So, and then you're going to go to your uh, layer opacity. And you can mess around with really anything you want. Um, some of them aren't going to make a whole big difference. For example, the linear burn and such. So if you do, like, um, actually, darker color kind of worked really well, actually. But we can keep messing around with that. You can do color dodge, which will change the color. But um, basically, you, don't, you want the shirt that you're wearing or the clothing you're showing to show through the pattern so that it doesn't really look like you changed much except for the color and the pattern. But it doesn't, you don't want it to look like a giant block like this does. So just keep you know, fooling around with uh, the different tools, and you will eventually find one that you like. Um, and the one I actually really liked was uh, I liked Color Dodge a lot, or or darker color because that one kind of has a really nice finish to it. It kind of looks like I'm wearing a velvet shirt. So that way when you unclick it, it looks like you're wearing a whole different outfit. And then you can erase around if you find details that you're not really happy about and touch it up so that when you're done, it looks nice and real. And there you have it. My name is Alex, and this is how you change clothes in Photoshop. Thank you.